Greyhound the horse. Manual strangulation. Iron ore. Tack night. Shopping spree. Forgery. <laughs> Spending money. Mom's tab. Yeah. Burlap sack. Titanic Marjorie. Ripped up furniture. Bad dog. Garage on fire. Oh, no, don't you worry about that. Skater mom. Carnival act. Insurance. Payouts. Stolen painting. Cover up. Marmalade. First attempt. Mike Billings. Burnt house. Parents without partners. Professor Psych. <laughs> Rancher lifestyle. Turquoise cowboy. Van Evra Lodge. Burnt pillow. Hot Marjorie. Perpetual beer goggles. In case you can't tell by the name, Yikes Murder and Stuff contains themes that are not suited for children. It's also no good for the workplace and probably not your mima and your papa either. We're going to talk about some grim subject matter, probably make uncomfortable jokes, and we're definitely going to be cursing. But if that's something you're into, then put your headphones on and hop in our nondescript windowless van and come see the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> see, we'll see about that. Hey, I'm the one that drove from New York to Charlotte 75 times, so don't tell me. Did you stop at Toby's at all? <laughs> I was very fucking GPS. Hey, guess what? What? We're, we're recording now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I didn't forget to press record this time. Uh, yay! <laughs> nice. Hey, welcome back. You came back! Yay! To Yikes Murder and Stuff! Again! Uh, this is part three of the Glenshead Mansion Murders. We're, uh... We're tenacious as hell with this. We're gonna stick <laughs> with it, man. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna finish it up and give you all of the juicy info you've been craving. Discussing this is like trying to fucking take off a wet bathing suit. <laughs> yes. Or trying to put one on. <laughs> fucking wiggling and oh. Beat the dead horse the greyhound right. horse yeah. <laughs> where's greyhound when you need him huh D oh man by the way i'm acadia and that was lisa and and jen sandwich is our almost <laughs> got to almost got to that part but yeah i am jennifer sandwich i'm lisa sweatshirt and i'm acadia who is not we've already <laughs> said that but maybe you are you never know you are the sexy one from what i understand so yeah that's true Today we're going to tell you about what happened after the murders. What happened to Roger? What happened to Marjorie? Because this story is not quite over. We have a whole other episode for you here. It's my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we all know that uh, Roger was up in up in Duluth there. That he's got to get home. Back home to... Sexy Marjorie in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he he did he did murder two old ladies. I didn't just do that. No. I did. A, I did. Listen, I had a busy day. <laughs> First, I flew from Colorado to Minneapolis, and then I looked for the mansion. And it wasn't there, and someone said it's in Duluth. <laughs> so. I had to take a bus. Okay. <laughs> then I almost got beaten up by an old lady. <laughs> and then I killed everyone. Well, two people. Then it's I it was such a long trip that I thought souvenirs. So this is what I did. <laughs> I found a basket. So it was like I was at Coles. Did you guys have Coles? We got Coles. Oh yeah, yeah, we got Coles. Yeah, yeah, Coles. Yeah, so you're at Coles. And I and I took actually a bunch of crap, but jewelry and stuff like that. And I found a really cool coin, but it would have slipped through the wicker of the basket. So I mailed it to myself from myself. This is accurate. <laughs> and then I... Did you make sure to get the stamp that says evidence? Well, they didn't have that, but they said, hey, listen... You can write whatever you want on the other side of uh -huh. the envelope. So I wrote, do not put in with bills. This is evidence. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect. <laughs> then finally, um, I took another thing that I'm not even going to tell you about because it's foreshadowing about how marvelous my wife is. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, so she's a great lady. <laughs> wow. So then I rented cars. I went back to Minneapolis. I bought a garment bag for reasons that will become very well known in a little while. And also I made sure that I went out of my way to write my name on things and have a super good paper trail in a land that only had paper, tying me to everything <laughs> all the way back to Colorado. Roger, you left a lot of... Uh... You have a lot of evidence uh, laying around so the cops could actually find you and try you because you have to kind of go out of your way. You have to make an effort to leave the amount of evidence that you left dangling out there. <laughs> the problem with it was is that I don't like to have loose pieces of paper around, so I don't keep my receipts from things that I buy in places where I committed crimes. So after I bought the garment bag... I left the receipt in the hotel, and and that was the day that the murder took place. I told you I was busy. La, la, and la, um, la. I also, <laughs> yeah, and then when I drove back, I had to take a car, so I took, remember Velma? I, I remember, I remember that, that tough old broad, the, the woman who did not die yep. of the diabetes. That, <laughs> yep, I took her car, and I drove it back, because fuck the bus, <laughs> and um, I left it at the airport and um, threw the keys and the parking th ticket thing in the garbage can. Should have probably not done that. <laughs> Hindsight. The package that Roger delivered to the police was just so perfectly wrapped with the most beautiful bow. The timeline lined up. The parking ticket that was found in the in the in the garbage can by the gate that flies from Minneapolis to Colorado, where he was going. He had left all of this evidence around, and he did it all while he was on a fucking toot. <laughs> Love those toots. All right, I, love the toots. It's when I do my best work. I also, think I kind of want to go on a toot right now. You know, like, right? God, just talking and, about this. This sounds great. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention was that on the halfway back between um, the place where I did the killing and the place where I did the flying, I stopped at a place to get a donut, and apparently it's famous. Oh, oh Toby's. sweet Toby's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place halfway between Minneapolis and Duluth that everybody stops at. All Minnesotans know about this place, uh, though. Minnesota. Yeah, it, if you're yeah. Minnesotan and you don't know what Toby's is, you probably moved here from another state. And you ain't Minnesotan. Yeah, not, not, a, not a true Minnesotan. <laughs> right. Well, it's, it's basically the Stuckies of the North. It's a big old, <laughs> like, truck stop, I guess, but they have ha handmade donuts, homemade donuts. Well, I think it started as actually like a like a donut shop, and it was just stop, get some donuts, and have a breakfast, and, it and then it expanded to casino, and now it has, like, a petting zoo for kids, and it's like... Yeah. That's not, you know, there's that like South, it's like South of the border in South Carolina. Like when you, when you're driving 95 from like New York down to Florida, from the Northeast uh -huh. down to Florida, like for like 150 miles, you start seeing, oh, you're almost at Pedro. Like it's this place South of the border, which is just ridiculous, like Mexican super racist guy with a sombrero oh leaning against a cactus oh, place but it's like a giant gift shop but it's been there forever and like big dinosaurs that the kids can play it's it's fucking yeah. random yeah feels like this toby's thing is oh, like totally that. totally because My... there's signs for miles prior like we've got a bear yeah so that's 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 just like that, that. so now i'm happy that i i mean i'm happy that i stopped there <laughs> because also, they don't have alcohol they, um, though roger <laughs> no, I didn't need it. The car was fat packed with oh, stuff that I took from the mansion that the cops so never fit. found out. And um, also at truck stops in the urinals, they have ads for CB radios that you have to read while you're peeing. <laughs> Damn, he's on this toot. I don't know how he even... I mean, I could see on the bus, like he could drink on the bus, but he's like driving, a drink driving. <laughs> well, this is the 70s, How did he though. even... Yeah. yeah. How, how did he even make it to, to Minneapolis alive? It's like a three and a half hour drive from Duluth to the Minneapolis airport. The cars were so big back then that I don't even think they turned Yeah, they're really like great. tanks. They just go in a straight line. Like that was the kind of... <laughs> That was the kind of the point of American cars is we'll go fast as fuck, but God help you if you try to turn. Yeah. <laughs> we'll turn on a half dollar. <laughs> yeah. He flew back to Colorado and then him and Marjorie flew back to Minnesota because remember, they have to kind of be shocked that somebody, her mom has passed away. 
Right. And so they... I'm shocked. What? Shocked. Yeah. Oh, you mean my mom's dead? It's really cool that, that Roger got that garment bag from the airport because yeah. he needed it to pack his Fucking funeral man. suit in, apparently. Oh, He's Fuck planning that, ahead. Man. I mean, <laughs> even on a toot, he knows he knows how to think ahead. Yeah. Like I'm gonna have to bring back a funeral suit, so I might as well yeah. have this bag with me so I might it doesn't get it's wrinkled. So fucking crazy. They have Elizabeth's funeral up in Duluth and they go to that and everybody's like, Oh shit. Everybody was like, It's Marjorie. Yeah. Well they're like, Yeah, Roger, why did you even go there? Just try to get some money. <laughs> Everything was fine when I left. <laughs> he just wanted some horse vestments and it didn't yeah, work right. out that way. <laughs> Marjorie's whole thing was that she just thought he was on a toot the whole time. So she, uh-huh. so she, Wink. she's like telling people they're like, where, where, you know, when everybody's kind of asking where was Roger during and shortly after the murder, her response basically is. You know, he just goes off on these things once in a while, and he takes he goes on a toot and takes off into the woods, and then I don't see him for a couple of days. <laughs> you know, that's her whole take on the whole thing is... I wasn't in the woods, you bitch. She's in the woods of Glen Sheen. <laughs> she's trying to set him up an alibi, basically, and she claims her son is with him the whole time. But if he's on a toot, would you want your son riding around with a drunk uh, driver? Depends on how old he was. I guess it depends on what kind of mother you are to your children. I'm guessing she's a non-helicopter mom. Yeah, but no, because it was the 70s. Nobody was. They were just oh, yeah, like, that's true. hey, let's true. roll up all the windows and smoke Lucky Strikes and like just tie the kids to each other, but don't put on their seatbelts. Well, it's basically like, here's your pet rack. Go outside. Go yeah. play. You know, come back but when you you're know 18. What I feel like she cared a lot about her children enough to she's giving other children brain injuries from the ice skating incident. To oh, that's have more about her. Elevate her children to that's the more about her. That's more yeah. about I got a trophy that's... because I'm a great mom. She didn't want her kids to win. She wanted them to lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Roger suddenly collapses while he's in Minneapolis after the funeral. I was overcome. Yeah, what happened with that? Not with guilt or grief. <laughs> with sedatives? <laughs> with marmalade? <laughs> but no, it's so. Here was my problem. I used to at home, and you didn't tell you this before. I would only eat cereal that I okay. bought myself because Marjorie was a murdering bitch. <laughs> and um, but at the hotel they didn't have it. They had those little little boxes, but I don't like those. <laughs> so um. I let her get me some food, and that looked that, 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 that mistake number seven d eight. Well, that was that's <laughs> basically what happened is that they they go to the they go to the funeral. Mm-hmm. They don't spend the night that night in Duluth after the funeral. It's just I, I they just left. They just left and went to cl- stay closer by the Those airport. Assholes! They go I to know. the funeral and then they just take the take off. They're like, see ya. You where's, come where's back my to check? The yeah. What's the world being hang read? Out there? When's the will going to be red? Because I'll fly back for that. But um, wow. yeah, so they, they go back out wow. by the airport again. And then all of a sudden, just suddenly, Roger just collapses and is in the, in the, no one, the, the crazy thing about this is, is he goes into the hospital, but no, they don't test his blood. So it, he could, it could, he could have been filled with sedatives oh at God. that time. Well, I think it never was kind of brought up, but I think she tried to murder him because think about how well of a patsy he would be. It seems so obvious to me. Yeah. Remember, yeah. after he collapses, she hops a plane. She doesn't even visit him in the hospital. She hops a plane. She hops a plane and goes back to Colorado. She's like, see ya, bye. And hops a plane, <laughs> goes back to Colorado and doesn't ever visit him and doesn't really even see him until he gets better, flies out there and gets arrested. It's crazy to me. I think he's the greatest patsy because just imagine she, she can just say, well, you know, I had heard he had been talking, but I didn't really take him seriously. But he was talking about maybe we could get your mother's money if she were to pass away. Oh. Think of the inheritance we would get. Did you know that they had armed guards in uh, in front of Roger's hospital room? Uh, so of we're not they the did. only ones who think that Marjorie might have had a little something to do with that. Yeah, fucking bitch walking around with a bag of oats. Right. <laughs> and then she's like, "Well, then she gets to keep the inheritance money, and she's found free and clear of the murder." You know, so he's the perfect patsy. Right. Roger gets arrested. Roger gets charged. He's found guilty in seventy eight. He's sentenced to two life life terms. Mm-hmm. For- 
what one one for each of the killings. Uh, Marjorie goes on trial the same year. She's found not guilty of all charges. But of course she's not. Mm-hmm. They haven't pinned Fucking anything bananas. on her ever. Like it's they no. Ah. John DeSanto is one of the authors of this book that Lisa read, and also uh, a family friend of uh, Miss yes. Sweatshirts. Uh, the book is called "Will to Murder." It's by Gail Feichtinger, uh, Gary Feistinger. Waller. Feistinger. Yep. I can only do it if it's in a German mm. accent. Feistinger. There. <laughs> it sounds German. Uh, Gary Waller is the is the uh, main investigator, I believe, on the case. Who's also he's passed away now. John uh, DeSanto, who is the prosecutor of the case, wrote this book. Now there was a well, little, little something went down during the trial of Marjorie between John DeSanto. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. So John DeSanto worked in the county attorney's office. He was the prosecutor. He had, he was actually really good friends with my stepdad, who was also a, an attorney for the city of Duluth. It was not they were the DeSantos were at our house quite a bit for Christmas and Easter parties, and we'd go to their house as well quite often. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're pretty nice guy, a super nice guy. But I grew up listening to all these stories because this was like the biggest case, you know, in Duluth. During the trial, Marjorie's attorney was uh, Ron Meshbesher, who happens to be quite a famous attorney here in, in the cities, actually. Meshbesher and Spence. Meshbesher and Spence. Ron Meshbesher was her attorney, and during the trial, it was his birthday. Marjorie thought it'd be a great idea to bake him a cake, you know, just bring this cake in for his birthday. And she like churns, you know, she's passing out these pieces of cake to everybody. And she turns to John DeSanto and kind of just says, hey, John, would you like a piece of cake? Ah, uh, that cake is bubbling. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's like, there's like old Frankenstein lab smoke coming out of that cake. It's like green acid oozing out of the sides. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he... I'm going to say <laughs> no. She's like, she actually says, her, she's like, oh, don't worry. There's no marmalade in it, John. You can have oh, a piece. My God. <laughs> I know. I know what the balls, you know, like it, the balls to say. She oh. knows. She knows he knows. And he knows she knows he knows. I mean, it's just. Just the smugness of that. Oh, yeah. It's just disgusting. It's just like. <laughs> It makes me think of the fucking bad guy at the end of Lethal Weapon 2 that just goes, Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> and, but Danny Glover wasn't around to shoot her, so it kind of wasn't So what's funny. her deal? Like, Condon, Condon family immunity? You know, like, I mean, geez. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm i not going to say that there's no possibility that there there wasn't some kind of fix in oh. there. I mean, think about it. Her, her, all of her shit got fixed her whole she, life. So why would she think you know any I mean? different? Yeah, I mean. Their expectations yeah. are right exactly where they belong. She has never paid the price for anything that she had done up Nothing. until this point in her life at all. This was insulting to her. Because what keeps, what, what frustrates me, like when I read the books and I, you know, watch these little whatever's on her, no one ever calls her a serial killer. I mean, most of the earmarkers of a serial killer, you know, you kill some animals, you're super smart. You know, she tried to kill a horse, you know, not a cat in the backyard. She tried to kill a full-on yeah. horse. She's lighting fires all yeah. over the place. She's burning shit down. She's totally has no regard for anybody else's feelings. Probably wet in the bed oh, left no, and right, yeah. which is That's the last right. piece of the triad. Yes. They're washing off her sheets of Lake Superior, like mm, 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 quietly yeah. at night. So we'll 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 talk a little bit more about our suspicions of Marjorie being a serial killer, as because right right now she hasn't killed anybody. Roger did. <laughs> She's definitely a psychopath for sure. Yeah, definitely has all all of those traits. So Lisa. When you were friend, like, well, when your father was friends with this with this dude, did it like come up all the time? And everything? It did. So, like, the main thing that would happen, the thing I kind of noticed, that everything that everybody focused on is here. More than likely, we could pretty much surmise Roger killed Elizabeth. But whenever we'd get together for parties or Fourth of July or whatever we were doing, most people would always go running up to John and be like, "What did?" What did Marjorie do next? What or what is Marjorie up to now? Where is she? Where is she living? What's she doing? Everybody was so focused on her because they completely understood that Marjorie was like the boss behind it all. And 
Oh, yeah. Roger was like her little lap dog that she sent to go do her bidding, you know, like manipulated. So yeah. no, really, no, everybody didn't care about that. Most people knew she would go on to do great things in the murder world. <laughs> in, the, in the murder yes. community. And I guess, I mean, it's true, though, because Roger, I mean, so, and you know that I've been looking at all this Roger stuff, and I'm not going to say that I have an affinity for him because he was a murdering mm-hmm. douche. But <laughs> I am going to say that, you know, his his whole thing was kind of a seesaw because I happen to believe like I've 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 physically known people who got into relationships when they were shit faced. And then like three years later are looking around going, I don't even know what <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And their only How did I get their, their only way out of it is. Yeah, they got to get back to drinking. That way they can just not worry about the fact that they don't know where they live and they don't eat, like. So he kind of goes up and down and not to like like belabor him because this isn't the Roger mm-hmm. story. But as you mentioned, he got sentenced to two life terms mm-hmm. in prison. Marjorie got sentenced to zero life terms in anything except the, uh, the world outside Accurate. of prison. And... He he Rogers in jail. She's not fucking helping him, and uh, so he he does his appeals and everything like that. But the cops, they, like you said, obviously knew that Marjorie was the one that whispering that, uh, in his ear. Did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she was uh, the conductor. Lucky of for him. Wreck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big time. In the middle yeah. of it, they find out that that uh, in one of his appeals there was legitimately a technicality yeah. that let him yes. out. Like he got, he got freed. It's like the people that like, you remember, you know, on SVU when Ice-T comes in, he goes, ah, the technicality, they let him out. Like they're all right. mad and everything like that. It was that. He could have just said, all right, I got to fucking go and like went far away. But instead he listened to the cops when the cops went, hey, you know what you could do? I know they manipulated like, him too. So, oh my God. I mean, that's, he's like, that happens, but he's been manipulated everywhere. He, this is, this is my favorite part of the story. They said, all right, listen, we know that you did it and we know that we can't try you again for it, but listen to this. How about you confess to the murders and we won't put you back in jail. We'll give you like time served, but you also have to testify that Marjorie was in on it. That way we Mm -hmm. can get Marjorie. So if you think about that, he could have just said, no, Marjorie told me this, this, and this for the thing you already convicted me for that I got out on on a technicality. Like, he didn't have to go out of his way to say that he was guilty, I don't think. But, of course, he did because he's fucking Roger. And they didn't put him in jail. And Marjorie still didn't yeah, get didn't, fucking He didn't really caught. throw her under the bus. I mean, what, I mean, on some level, was he, like, expecting a gift box filled with marmalade and... Sleeping pills? Thanks. Like, I better not say anything. I, I might end up dying, you know, kind of here's thing. Here's what I, I think. I think it. that he had it in his mind. This is this is a weak-minded fool. By yeah, me, you know? true. This guy had it in his mind. He's, he's a tool. He's everybody's tool. Mm-hmm. He thought Marjorie was going to come back at some point when this all blew over and give him this whatever, however many millions of dollars that she had promised him would come from this. Oh, yep. She... I think it was like two weeks prior to the murder, she had written up like an agreement, like a contract, a handwritten contract that said, if anything, kind of like if anything happens to her, Roger gets $2.5 million. And they actually both sign it and put it in a P.O. box of Colorado. Right. So she's like basically paying him ahead of time. For the murder. If he had been fucking smart, he would have just killed uh, her. Yes, yeah, and <laughs> moved in with Elizabeth. <laughs> been like, Velma doesn't need a job anymore. I'm here to take care of you. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that he could have discussed this with Elizabeth, and she would have probably helped him set it up. Who knows? I mean, I yeah. don't know. She's not Marjorie, that's Ugh. for sure. But no. God, no. just to have Marjorie well, out of your life seems like it might be <laughs> worth it to, yeah. to cross over to the dark side momentarily. Yeah, right? <laughs> Well, at the end of the day, I mean, the end of his day, literally, mm-hmm. he moved to Old Latro, Pennsylvania, <laughs> where they make rolling rock. And um, first he's living in Golden, Colorado, where they make Coors. That's well, right. Then he's living in du- then he's like hanging out in Duluth, where they have Fitgers. <laughs> right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? <laughs> 
He's probably so mad that he missed the craft beer oh, craze oh. where there's like microbreweries all over the Roger, places. I could live he anywhere. Had any now. foresight at all? I think that's when Ry- yeah, right? Roger's personality would have shined. Yeah, yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was his. That was his. Big, you know what you should do? Put some coffee in this. <laughs> Be delicious. Um, so he moved to Latrobe. Couldn't find a job. Big surprise because being a fucking turquoise oh, rancher right, in right. Latrobe, Pennsylvania, while you're drunk all the time is probably not a big <laughs> skill set that they need. And um, he killed himself after seven years of not working in Latrobe, PA. So Just that around. was what? what <laughs> yep, it was like 1998, uh, 1988, rather. And in typical Roger fashion, he wrote. Three suicide notes, two of which were completely illegible. <laughs> and he never fucking fingered Marjorie. Well, probably, not but not for the crime. <laughs> um, oh, no. And so but, oh, he, oh. He, 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 he never, like, he didn't give her up. He, he took... He took her secrets that weren't really secrets because he was too dumb to come up with it on his own to his grave. Maybe he hmm. did, and you just couldn't because you Read couldn't him. make it out. Yeah, that's oh yeah. <laughs> the first two where he fucking that. told said she did it right. was all scribbly. <laughs> God damn it! They sobered up enough to be like, oh, better not write that. <laughs> yeah, he wrote the he wrote the third one first. Like he's like before he was too bombed, and then he's like, wait a minute, I should tell him all about that bitch. And he, <laughs> uh, so then the thing that made me happy. I guess happy about this is that in this entire story, at least to this point, he's the only person that got what was coming yeah. to him. He's, justice yeah. was served with with Roger in a very roundabout way, but yeah, it took yeah. a while. Well, this is some this is some white privilege right now. If we're seeing it's some wealthy white privileged people who ended up not going to to jail for literally just murdering. Well, he would have stayed in jail if they hadn't messed up the uh, evidence thingy. Well, yeah. I mean, they, they had so much money at their disposal, they could have hired the best lawyers, and of course they get, you know, I mean, if they were, if it was anybody else, I mean, sure, they sure, would have sure, sure. gone away for life, <laughs> you know? Yeah, city attorney or something. Yeah. That. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, actually, later on, DNA testing on the saliva and the blood of the crime scene were tested, and they did match Roger, so... You know, yeah. Really? Course, yeah. Can no. you believe it? Shocker, right? Shut yeah. up. So, of course he did it. <laughs> well, I guess you're bet, I bet you're wondering what happened to Marjorie. Oh, and it goes on. Anybody want to care to guess what God happened? God damn it. To, what happened to beautiful, beautiful, sexy Marjorie? A lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know who she reminds me of and, and, and I kind of wish she was? Did you see that um, evil genius thing on Netflix? Yes. Oh, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish that that was Marjorie. I never saw it. Oh, you got to see it, Lisa. Okay. Everybody that hasn't seen Evil Genius yeah. on Netflix, it's not super long. Um, it's really, really good. Yeah, I'm no, not no, going to no, give no, anything no, away. But, so. it, it, no spoilers. It, it, yeah. It's kind of true. I don't know if it's so much that she's a genius necessarily. I mean, she was smart. Oh, I think she's a genius. Yeah. I mean, but God, she got away with it. She fucking got away with it. She actually got her, She actually got the. She actually got the fucking inheritance. I... Can you imagine how mad her fucking siblings but the, the must word, have been? I mean, it, it, it's and the, the what she, as far as the evidence or as far as the inheritance goes, she actually asked for the exact amount that she needed to pay Roger yes. from that note from in the PO box. Well, yeah, because she her she ended up getting sued or something. Her or kid sued, sued her, her. Mm-hmm. yeah, for like a wrongful death, right? And yep. so Marjorie yep. just like settled out of court and got the same exact amount that she had promised Roger. Coincidence? So was her? In- That's the weird part. Is this like, is it her intention to pay him, or was she just like, I'll pay him if he comes along, but I'll just pocket that for now. I, I don't you think know, she like, ever intended to do you shit know what? about him. I think yeah, she was just true. like, I'm done with you. You know what? I bet she did. I bet, obviously, if that's how much money she got, then she must have been able to prove that that's how much money she was going to get. So I bet she made that thing saying, oh, look, I am I know I'm going to have at least this much, Roger, so you know that I'm good for it. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well. Ugh, I hate her. I'm glad. I'm glad her kids sued her. <laughs> that's good. I'm Me glad, too. glad because, you know, she. I want to sue her. They, she ate up all of their college funding. Well, and then part of their, in- I mean, what the idea is is she should have been investing her money over time, and when she would pass away, she would then 
move that on to her children. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Just... She should have been in jail. Whatever. Well, and all of that money gone to the kids. I'd buy a rocket yeah. ship. Well, you know what? But technically, technically now, I'm kind of glad that all the taconite riches got distributed into the economy and didn't get passed yeah. on to kids that didn't do anything but get married to rich, uh, get had by rich people. Right. Uh, well, I mean, she was just she would have just spent it and burned it anyway. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Feeding the economy, creating jobs. <laughs> creating jobs. <laughs> Lawyers got to eat too. <laughs> yep. Lawyers, shopping mall, security guards, all sure, sorts of people. Sure. <laughs> well, do you guys remember the Hagen kids from the from the ice from the ice skating from the figure skating? The Hagen family. Oh, yeah, were... she was a skater mom. Yep. The yep. very same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets back in touch with Helen. Helen's husband's name is Wally, and they're longtime friends of of Marjorie. Helen, she finds out, is like in a nursing home with Alzheimer's. Everybody's a little bit older now, right? Uh, for <laughs> so sake. so yeah. Marjorie goes to, to Helen's nursing home to to visit her. She's and she's all like, so, uh, Helen, uh, nice catching up with you. Uh, how's uh, the husband? Here's a little piece of marmalade bread for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's the last time they see Helen alive. Yeah, she goes into a coma afterwards. If she... Uh, shocker, Marjorie's there for 15 yep. minutes, leaves. She goes into a coma and never wakes up again. So Marjorie's like, hey, Wally, uh, that's too bad about your wife. You want to go get a coffee? God. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Like, <laughs> like, how did they go? Hey, you know, I just read in the paper that uh, she didn't get convicted for murdering her mother. So let's look her up. She's cool. Like I don't. That's fine. Uh, Everything's fine. Let's uh, yeah. let's allow her back into our lives. No I problem. I don't understand how any of that happens. And then the whole oh well, it, it would be like he was it, it was like he was catfishing her, but you couldn't catfish back then. And he's like, oh, do you have a wife? Yeah, but she's in the hospital with Alzheimer's. Don't worry about it. Helen's <laughs> kind of onto it before she goes into her coma and dies. Ugh. She's got her Alzheimer's going on, and uh, she had told her daughter that she's was suspicious that Marjorie was having an affair with her husband, Wally. But the daughter was just like, oh, mom, de- you got dementia. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, it's just the usual not paying attention because she's lost in her, you know, time mind. So in the future, people pay attention to the Yeah, elderly. you might want to do that because she was mm-hmm. right. <laughs> they know some she things. She was right. That's fucked up. Well, you yeah. also got to factor in. Yeah, yeah, there's no way that dad's going to be so stupid as to hook up with the murderer lady. Right? Well, I think that, well, I mean, I, I guess she's Congdon family, and they know that, that she's got a shit ton of money, so... Well, I kind of wonder, does Marjorie have, like, good game? You know, like... Oh, she's, she's got to have something dudes. under there, dude. Like, what is I don't, I don't understand how she does it. I didn't find her that attractive, but, I mean, I guess the Congdon money brings her from a yeah, five well, to a eight. Oh, yeah, 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 you know? at least. And then there's something internal that's that's affecting it, I think. Maybe she pops that pussy. Who knows? Yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's gross to think about and i'm sorry about well, that mental image no that's oh, awesome <laughs> no. um well after helen died wally like tells the daughter listen everyone i have an announcement <laughs> <laughs> number one i never loved your mother <gasps> what <laughs> number two you're not getting your inheritance. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, so while you're jotting that down, I married Marjorie. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> and have you ever heard of Dan Broderick? <laughs> because that's what I just did. He Dan Broderick the family for Marjorie. <laughs> hey, Wally, you want to give me that uh, check? I'll just put that in my pocket now. <laughs> you take it, baby. Don't you about a thing. <laughs> Lady <laughs> Fuck, Wally and Marjorie get married. It's so happy. Woo. And then the very next year, they move into a house that they had bought contract for deed. I guess they get rich people do contract for deeds. I guess they had to. I don't know. What. I think it was actually, now it's kind of one of those things you do because you have bad yeah. credit. But back then, I think it was a pretty common place to oh. do that. What is it? It's a contract, contract for deed. Contract for deeds. Yeah, it's like you don't. Where you your just lender, keep saying the same thing. Oh, where your means. lender. I'm sorry. It's like where your lender is your mortgage owner. 
So like you're, it's like rent to own. You just pay a monthly uh, amount. Right. Like you give them a big down payment, like fifteen thousand dollars hypothetically, and then you pay twelve hundred dollars a month until the house is paid yeah. off. And there's usually a bulk balloon payment at the end. Well, that seems like the terrible way to do it. Actually, it doesn't work. It actually works out better for the owner of the house because they have a a monthly income that they can rely on. And if the person does not pay, they get the house back and don't have to give any of the money back. Yeah, it's in the contract that you can take the house back after a certain amount of time if they don't make their payments. So... Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, I mean, there's... It's there's like that. a reverse mortgage. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically. Except it's just yeah. with the owner and the and the person buying it. There's no middleman. The only Jesus. problem is with Marjorie, you just have to worry about burning her burning your house down. Yeah, you know? yeah, or, <laughs> or killing, killing you. you. Yeah. Yeah, you go ahead and bully me financially, buddy. See how yeah. that works out. <laughs> Funny you should say that. When it came time, well, they, when it came time for them to pay the contract, they didn't have the money. So Marjorie went out and sold the house to this uh, other family, the Larson family. Just went out and sold it to somebody else out from under. It wasn't hers to sell. <laughs> so she was just... <laughs> but right before this family moved in, after they'd given her all this money, the fucking house burns down. Ugh. So aye, she... Aye, aye, now think aye, about aye. this. Think about this. She doesn't have to pay the people who own the house. Nope. She gets to pocket the money from the people she sold it to. She knows what she's doing. And she collects the homeowner's insurance because the insurance is under her name. Yep. And the people she contracted for deed to have what they have is a piece of land with a burnt down house on it. We got we got a winner, folks. Uh, she, she do, you are right. She ju, she just wins. There's nothing else she does but win. She all she does oh is win. God. And the last part was just spite. Like she didn't need to burn it down. No, she's all like at that point, at this point, she's like, "Fuck you very much. I'm just gonna take this all with me." This is that's, that's just a little extra nuts. icing on the cake there. Yeah, so a little something, something. No, we, you we know, what? To... I'm actually, I've been kind of thinking about this. I'm kind of scared to talk about this stuff because I'm scared. I'm gonna, she's gonna come over to my house and put a little marmalade no, no. cake on my porch. You're too, you're too close to it. <laughs> Maybe now. She's a little too old now, but <laughs> who knows? Did you know that during this time that Wally and Marjorie are telling everybody that Wally has cancer? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. W- Wally's not looking too good. Not doing too good. He's just just a sidebar note here. <laughs> that in the meantime, while all this is going down, Wally's not faring too well. But Marjorie has to go to trial because she she gets charged with arson for the burning down the house. Because now you can't just burn down your house, even though you have insurance on it or don't have insurance on it. It doesn't matter. She's going to, she gets to go to trial. She's found guilty. And this time she goes to jail. Finally. Yeah. Hooray. She <laughs> gets two and a half years for arson, out of which she served two. She did four-fifths of the time she was supposed to, to do. But while she was in prison, Wally, Raleigh's sticking by her. He's standing by his woman, and he's going to stay married to her. But he's feeling better. He's not looking as cancery. He's hanging out at his <laughs> old haunts, and he's looking healthier. And- I'm hardly cancery at all <laughs> now. Yeah, he's playing his card games and, you know, going out and having drinks, having, having good times. Marjorie gets out of prison, and they end up moving to uh, a place called Aho, Arizona. <laughs> A-J-O. Am I saying that right? Is it Ajo Aho? She could be the fucking mayor of Aho. <laughs> <You> know, right? <laughs> She's an she's an older lady. This is like 1991 now. This is like kind of getting into current times. She's getting pretty elderly, but she's still... She's still out running around setting things on fire. So <laughs> she can't stop. She's to, yeah. What's crazy is at this point, when she moves into Aho, which happens to be an area where her grandpa had a mine. That's like where one of the mi- main, main. Right, her, Chester. Yeah, yeah. Chester. It's Arizona Castle. Exactly. Arizona Castle. So that's right. the Winter Castle. <laughs> it was a smaller town at this time. I, I can't remember the exact number, but it's like 3,500 people or something like that. It's like. The, the arson rate goes through the roof when she <laughs> yes. moves in. Like, Marjorie had nothing. It's like her... Suddenly. Her, you know how <laughs> older people like to go for Sunday drives? Marjorie liked to take her dog for a walk and light, light people's houses on fire. <laughs> and burn them down. What's the purpose? What's the, what is the purpose? Jesus They could Christ. never pin any of them on her, but it's... When she moved there, they started, and when she went to Florida later on, they stopped. I wonder what was well, happening. Well, they got her for one. <laughs> yeah. One of them, she goes to 
her neighbor's house. He wakes up because he hears noises out in his backyard. And he looks out the window and he sees this little old lady. <laughs> lady. <laughs> They're just scooting out of the backyard, just shuffling off really fast. Fucking, <laughs> with like an old Ebenezer Scroo- yeah. Scrooge candle on a dish, like <laughs> with the hat, with the pom pom, like down the middle of the back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he goes out to see what's up, and he sees these rags that are soaked in gas, like hanging off of some of his windows. And this guy was a border patrol guy, like he worked oh. out as a border patrol. Really? So he's oh, kind of wow. like a cop. Okay, so he kind of knows about investigating things. So uh, so he sets this up to catch her in the act. And it's like, basically, let her come back onto the property and try it again and set the house on fire a little bit. And then the cops swoop a in <laughs> swoop in and arrest her. The best part is that he's inside the house. So the whole plan is, is all these cops are going to hide all over in the bushes or behind cactuses. Yeah, right. it's like a SWAT team. It's supposed team. to be really thin cops, <laughs> but they're hiding behind cactuses. And then, um, <laughs> and, and he's in the house and he's got this, this is, you know, the 80s, so it's, or 90s, and so there's like, the, he's got a flash camera, and he has the window open just a little bit, and she comes up with her little lighter, it starts, you know, trying to light it, he throws open the blinds and starts just snapping pictures with this flash. So it's like, you just imagine, like, there's darkness. And then there's all this light going on and off and on and off. And her eyes are all big. Yeah, and yeah. then she, like, boots Epic. it for the alleyway. And all <laughs> these cops Mr. run McGoo's out from out behind there. from behind the cactuses, tackle her down in the alley. Like, <laughs> and she's got her dog with her. You know? Like, just... Jesus Christ. My hip's broken. While the Benny Hill music is oh, playing in the background God. really faintly. <laughs> I can't even believe that she would. She God, and what's what was the purpose of this? He must have pissed her off in some way, or because why else would she do it? She's got to be vengeance because she wouldn't make any money from it. Well, it's, like, it, it could be something as point? simple as like her, you know, thinking in her head. He's like, you know, she's like, he made he cut down the branch on one part of our cactus oh. that went over the border, you know. So oh, fuck him. Whatever. I'm burning his house. My now. side of the art. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> And you know, and poor, poor fucking Roger is like, you fucking finally had a Wild West shootout and I was not there. <laughs> he missed it completely. He's mad. He, uh, he bought extra tall hats just so that they could get bullet holes in them without killing that him. That would be the perfect thing for a rancher lifestyle guy to God do, damn you know? It. See? Yeah. That's oh, totally Now I feel thing. retroactively bad again. I even <laughs> think, I think even during this time, I don't think she ever technically uh, divorced Roger. So this marriage that she has to Wally is not legal. That's a shame. Well, Roger's dead. Oh, is he dead by now? Uh, at yeah. one point. I thought she yeah. met him before he died. She did. And when they got married, it was before well, he died. And so she like committed whatever that is, where you marry two people. Bigamy, Bigamy. until the statute of limitations yeah. ran out because he was dead. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oh, mm-hmm. I did not know that. I forgot about that. Uh, there's so much more information in the book. I highly, if you're very interested in this, I highly recommend reading it. it it's, I just was amazed. It is chucked full of crazy. We have several books that are going to be on the website. We have links to those to those books. Uh, you can pick them up on Amazon, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, check it out because it's store that we we're we're skimming. We're, we're just skimming the tap, skimming the surface. That's mm-hmm. there's so much. She's arrested and she's gets sentenced to 13 years in prison. Now finally, she's some, this is like a big chunk. Now she's getting some comeuppance. I mm-hmm. mean, they're seeing her past, and they're just like. She's trying to set a guy's house on fire. They could be like, oh, little old lady, you know, she's a, no no offenses. We could just let her off with a whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't. Th- 13 years is a pretty good sentence for mm-hmm. um for that. It was like when they caught OJ for the memorabilia thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's 20 like, years. Nah. <laughs> At last. No fucking gloves no with gloves this one. No gloves involved, yeah. fucko. That's right. <laughs> yeah, well, we have plenty of uh, evidence to send you away as for the maximum. But she's she's still like, okay, well, I'll cut a deal with you. I'll do the 13 years. Just let me out of jail for a minute. Just give me like 24 hours because my husband, he's got all this cancer flowing through him. I just got to find a place for him to take care to be taken care of. What? And I'm going to I'll I'll be right back. Let me just <laughs> let me just 
<laughs> Let me just run in here real quick, take care of Wally, and come if back. If you want, hold my license yeah. <laughs> and my Discover card, because I swear to God, I'll be right well, back. Oh, she, she, even, can... she even cons them into giving her a ride. They drop her off at her house, and they were scheduling up an appointment time to pick her up the next day to bring her to jail. Guess what happens the very next morning? Huh. Anybody? Anybody? Huh. Anyone? Hello, Smithers. Huh. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Wally's found dead. <laughs> That's right, y'all. Somebody else dies at the hands of Marjorie. I Kungan. feel bad Kungan. laughing at somebody getting murdered, but it just is. Uh... I should have foreseen this. <laughs> Maybe he should have stayed with his um, with his uh, Alzheimer wife and his uh, regular family instead of getting all greedy and, you know. Yeah, well, I, falling under the spell of Marjorie. Of, under Marjorie, well, I, I yeah. still am confused by that spell. But whatever. yeah, I know that I don't. I, I it's, it's, it's beyond my understanding. <laughs> 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 <Pop and pussy. laughs> so, of course, it, the autopsy shows that he was he died of a drug overdose. He didn't even dry, die of cancer. They said it was viewed as a suicide. I do believe that in the autopsy they said that he didn't have cancer at all. For fuck's sake. Yeah, they so, found out he, he was... Right. Just like Danny Casalero. Oh, he committed suicide by shooting himself in the head four times. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, but so, the weird part... I mean, the, the thing that about the no cancer. Like, so she's got that whatever. She cured his cancer. And he killed himself. <laughs> What's that disease where you make your kids sick? Munchausen syndrome. So she munchausen him. Yeah. That's pretty much... The plan for anybody that steps into Marjorie's think life, the, I think. Think of the scope of this, though, really. Think about it. Killing animals. And not small animals. Not birds. Not squirrels. Fucking horses. Trying to. Yeah, yeah. She's at the you zoo. Know, like, what are you fuck looking you, at, elephant. Giraffe? You know, like, I'll, fucking... I'll take that fucking ostrich down if it's the last thing I do. You know, like, she's at Toby's maybe trying to kill the bear they have there. I don't know. But no, I just get... <laughs> no, but I mean, killing big animal, big game. Yeah. Forging documents, setting fires. setting fires, stealing people's money, you know, getting people to murder well, her mom. Oh, that, yeah. That just is insane. It's not, it wasn't a double suicide. They were trying to say it was a double suicide. Yeah. Like, they were both going to kill themselves. Please. And... Yeah, it was a double suicide. But she lived. Except Wally did it twice and she <laughs> She <did it> survived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she had filled the house with gas, but then she had decided to not blow it up and, like, let open up all the windows and let the gas out. There's a little more to this story that I, I didn't quite understand. It, it sounded like what my perception was that what she was trying to do is fill the house with gas, gas and then she was going to blow it up because then they wouldn't find all the pills in his body. Ah. And so she would be able to hide the murder, the alleged murder. We have to yeah. say alleged, but right. hide. I well, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to say shit. I'll go right there and okay. tell her. I'll knock on her trail door. <laughs> but uh, so it yeah. was kind of like this attempt to hide it. But I think she had run out of time and she knew that because she had conned that right from the cops to the bring cops her. The cops were coming to get yeah, her to pick, to her, pick her, up. her up to take her to jail. Oh, fucking, so what she did. Fucking taxi's out front home. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> she's opening the window. She's like, we better get this uh, gasoline, this gas well out of here. We just, yeah. We don't want anybody to know that I was going to blow the house up. So, but we just want to yeah. find him dead. So I'll quick write this note from him saying that I killed myself. You know, it's so just. All- Oh, it's crazy town. Well, nothing ever really came of his death. That, nothing nothing happened with that. She's in jail. Not for Jesus his murder, Christ. though. No, no, she's in jail for the arson. Yeah. But she, she was just, had to step out real quick and murder my husband. I'll be right back. Okay. Yep. Thank now, you. Will you come I, pick me up? I would be, right? Uh, I would be quick to, like, fault the cops in this, but we didn't we didn't go into it um, really that much when we were talking about all the, the dumb evidence that Roger left and, and Marjorie left. Don't forget the foreshadowing thing I did because I still want you to drop that on everybody because of, what like, the, the, the ultimate bitch part of Marjorie calling back to the mansion. But a lot of times in these stories you can go, oh, the cops suck, they didn't do this, they didn't do that, and everything like that. They caught them... It, granted, they left a good trail, but the cops were on the fucking job arresting him for the the those murders. Yeah. Yes. But apparently, like, when they, I don't know, she wrote her fucking police reports in invisible ink. Because they're like, all right, well, we'll write down everything Marjorie did. Oh, blank. She must be innocent. Let's let her go. Like, because every single time they didn't connect the dots, they just had like a... 
It should have been a murder board with like pins and string, except it had nothing in it but yeah. a picture of Marjorie in the middle. Yeah, the sophistication of the cops back then. This is what plays in her benefit. It's because you don't have a centralized computer system that's housing all the information that connects state to state to state. With her bouncing around all over the place, like there are even things in the book about possible fires she started when she lived in Florida and things she did. There's way more to this story and we just don't have time because there wasn't like a centralized information gathering spot. She got away with a lot because you see a rich lady why the hell would she burn a house down? You know, right. like that's what Arizona's thinking. They don't know her mom's dead. And there's, well, just, you know, like, well, there's a little bit more. Yeah. We can, we can talk a little bit more because someone else has come into Marjorie's life. Uh, as she's spending her time in prison for arson. Yeah. She got released just 11 years later after she's sentenced. So she had sentenced to 13 years. She did 11 years. She gets out in 2004 so again, this is just 14 years ago. She becomes friends with this man named Roger Samus. Mm-hmm. Not Sandwich. It's a good name, <laughs> but it's another Roger. Unrelated. <laughs> Unrelated. And he received a her- inheritance from a friend, but he dies all of a sudden in like 2007. And Marjorie went out and had him cremated immediately. And forged all the information so that the inheritance that he received was transferred over into her account. <laughs> so, Jesus Christ. So, like, he died at, like, noon, and then, like, he was cremated at noon 04. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. he had a heart attack right in front of the cremation. Yeah. Oh, no, he just fell into it. <laughs> yeah, strange. Well, it, of course they arrest her. And uh, she's, uh, 2009, she pleads guilty to Forgery. Forgery. Not killing the guy, but forgery, right? And she gets sentenced to three years of house arrest and probation. This is in 2009, Ugh. everybody. <sighs> this is not that long ago. She's still living in Arizona right now. <laughs> so Walking dogs. If you think about the fucking, the, the line that this whole series of episodes drew from a mustachioed lawyer who figured out how to screw people out of taconite yeah. all the way down to this yeah. with that old bitch literally getting away with murder like 50 times yeah oh yeah the, and, there, and there's there's more there's more i'm done with it I'm fucking done the, it's real what's really an, another odd twist to this is that roger had a wife prior to um marjorie uh-huh and um his ex-wife's their daughter, their oldest daughter, ended up smothering the ex-wife of Roger and her mother with a pillow. What? Yep. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait. Okay. So I know Roger's... it sounds it's hard to explain. Okay. Roger Caldwell's daughter from a f- former wife from a previous marriage. Yep. Smothered her own mother in oh, bed what? with a pillow. And also committed suicide. What? Yes. But she Whoa. wasn't going to get away with, like, she was going to have to sp- do real time. So she knew, she was, yeah, so she was escaping her sentence for killing well, I, the mother. From what I understood from the story, Whoa. they weren't very rich. She wasn't getting a, a mesh besher. She was getting whoever was available. She was going to get the crock pot that was a double that hadn't been opened yet. That was her yeah. thing that she was yeah. going to Yeah, get. and so she committed suicide. Wow. Oh, my God. After the mother's mother. After the mother's, <laughs> after the mother's mother. I, yeah, she killed, yeah, she she did, she was like, I just want to be like dad. That's pretty weird. That is really, really weird. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, because obviously mm-hmm. he wasn't there to really raise her, so. No, he didn't, he didn't see his kids hardly at all. I don't think he saw him at all. Damn. If I ever teach you one thing. Is kill. No, if I have to teach you one thing, <laughs> write three suicide notes because one of them yeah, will right? be illegible or will be legible. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's all we've got for Marjorie Congdon Caldwell Hagen, Hagen. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Leroy, so, whatever. <laughs> if you want to learn more about how she went on to form ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> You can go and visit her in Arizona because she's still there with her fucking 
dogs. Find the nearest house that's on fire. Oh my god, the bitch is still if alive. That, and she, I, if I didn't think she had a fucking shotgun by the door, would you not just want to go up and knock, knock, knock? Yeah, can I actually? Help you? I would. The fuck you kill so many I, people? I know. And not care. I would be like, teach me. Yeah, right. <laughs> show me your ways. Can't you write? One you of those got her like Yoda style... in a little backpack running around, right? <laughs> running her around, or just can you at least write an OJ style "If I Did It" book? Like... She said, she's like, you know, I did it. Wink. <laughs> Murdering for dummies. <laughs> yeah, there is no try, only do or do not, and she did. And that's that's the end of our story. I want to say that I I think I want to – can I try out a catchphrase on you guys? What do you sure. think? Let's see. Because I'm, I'm ready to end this, but I'm also ready for – hey, everybody, keep on tooting. Keep on tooting. Can I, can I do that? Can, the hell is, that, is that not working? I mean, you can say it. Uh, all right. Well, I want to – I ain't making it a, a keychain out of it. <laughs> okay, it's not going to work if we can't make it a crack. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas now, Katie. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to say toot. And I'll tell you, man, because the, honestly, it seems like a lot of bad things happen on toots from this story. But it's not true. Good things happen on toots. Because if it wasn't for a fucking toot, Lisa and I would have never come up with a story. No. <laughs> we were on a toot when we decided. Not when to I was driving. Through this. No, no, no. The Glen Sheet. <laughs> correct, correct. We weren't we weren't Roger Caldwelling. Yet. I wasn't we Caldwell were, in the drive. Nope, no. We took many lifts. We did stop a lot at, of money on lifts. No, we didn't stop at Toby's. What was wrong with us? I don't we know. didn't. We were in a hurry to get to the uh, Tootin' so place you, yeah. here in Murray. You, so. you you built it up and then you let it all <laughs> flop. Ah. Well, it, allow me to present the counterpoint of Toots. They make really, really good stories, but the rest of the life impact is not usually as good, at least in my case. <laughs> well, there you have it. So maybe don't keep on tooting. It depends on, you know, do, do your own thing. Make up your own mind. And Hey, so far, it's winning. <laughs> yeah, right. She says, keep on winning at all costs. Yeah, I guess that's the moral of the story. If you're Marjorie, it's hey. your theme song is all I do is win. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Also, never confess. Make others do your bidding. <laughs> Whatever you want, you'll get away with it. It's exactly. Cool. <laughs> Show the horse, you'll fucking kill it. A dead mother soul. is better than an alive mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the end of the show. I want to thank the bad man for doing our theme music. The bad man, USA.com. We heart you, bad man. I like you as a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to do a plug? Uh, what, you, what you got, Acadia? Um, well, you can follow me on Twitter at Acadia, or you can see what we do all the time at superficialgallery.com. Uh, got movies coming out, and there's going to be some end-of-year stuff that by the time this comes out, you'll be able to read. And I still do Castle Rock Historical Society with Hannah Selector about lots of horrible things. Yeah. Is that the one where you talk with the guys from England too sometimes? Yeah, we team up with uh, Fan Critical once in a while. That's really yeah, cool. Those like guys that. are great. Yeah. And ladies, I should say. Sorry, they are awesome. Yeah. Lisa, anything to plug? <laughs> I have a Twitter with 12 friends today. You got two more friends. Yay. Yay. <laughs> two more followers. Hooray. <laughs> That's us at Sweatshirt Lisa. Mm-hmm. We're going to have some merch on our uh, website here very, very soon. We're going to have sweatshirts. We're going to have T-shirts. We're going to have long sleeve shirts. And we're going to have um, pop sockets for your phone. Pod um, sockets. Pod <laughs> sockets. Marjorie's pop socket. That's what started all this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the men were falling That's for. That's right. <laughs> yeah, keep on tooting or not keep on tooting or do whatever. Toot at your own discretion. <laughs> All right, we'll see you uh, See you next week. And thanks again for listening. And go to iTunes and rate us and review us. Yes, or if please. you don't like us, Very uh, important. please give just us Just throw some. your computer in the tub. Yeah, just throw us out the window. That's fine, too. Never listen to us again. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank Talk to you later. Bye. And goodbye. Bye.